Okay, so we're going to make a start on getting this barrel made. And as always, the first thing I want to do is set a new project for this. So, we're going to click on File. We're going to go to Project Window, and I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to call it Barrel, because it's, it's a barrel, it's a good name. And the location, just because I like to keep all my things to, to like somewhere I can see them, and then I tend to move them later. Uh, but I'm going to put it on my desktop for now. And then all of these uh, folder names are going to be fine. So I'll click on accept. Okay, with that done, what I now want to do is find the images I will need. And so I'm going to go out to environmenttextures.com, which is just here. Oh, that's lovely. It's a big, starey man looking at me. Okay, so um, this just so happens to be the sponsor for this video as well. So I'll give them a shout out. This is what I'm currently using to find pretty much all of my um, reference images uh, and texture files as well. So what we need, first of all, is a, a picture of a barrel to work from. So the search function on here is pretty good. So if I search for a barrel, I'm hoping that's what I'll find. Ah, lovely. So I can see there are lots of metal oil drum looking barrels. Uh, but the kind of barrel I want is the first hit which is this handsome looking barrel right here. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this to work from. I probably, I'm gonna make a little change. I don't think I want that metal band on the top, but I think I do want these four uh, and the proportions look good. So I'm, I'm gonna take this. So if I click on this, I'll have that one ready to go. Right, I'm also gonna need some texture files for this. Uh, you can see I'm probably gonna need a, a wooden one and a, a metallic one as well. So I think what I'll do next is I'll look in categories uh, and there's some really good wooden ones. So let's go to wood. Yep, and the sort of thing I'm looking for, I think in this instance is gonna be planks and probably bear. Bear as in no paint or anything, not bear as in a bear made out of wood. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Mm. Something that looks nice and barrelly. This is quite good. I think I want something that looks a bit, a bit more aged. I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm, I'm going to try and make my barrel look a bit, a bit more gnarly than uh, the one in the reference. I quite like this. So I'm going to take this image as well. I think. There it is. It's got some nice scratches and things on it. So I'm hoping that'll come through nicely uh, in the normal map that we'll create. So I'm going to take that one. Right, I need some metal next. So let's find something metallic. Let's try plate metal. Galvanized metal doesn't look bad. Maybe that's the one I'll go for. Oh, or scratches metal. Let's try scratches. I'd already kind of decided on the other two I was going for, but I hadn't decided on my um, my metallic one. These look nice. I might go with one of these. They're good. Yeah, let's see what this one looks like at the top. This one. And the good thing about um, these textures is they're all really high resolution. Um, maybe I'm not a massive fan of that one. Let's try the next one. What's this one like? It's got bits on it. I don't like the bits. Let's keep searching. Hmm. Okay, so we're not going to go scratches. Well, we might we might come back to scratches, uh, but let's have a look at galvanized. Yeah, I like this one. So I'm going to go for metal plate three. That should give me something to mess around with. Yeah, so we'll save that one as well. Okay, so I've got my three um, materials. So what I'm going to want to do is find my barrel project. I'll just stick that over there. And in my source images folder, which is where all your textures should live, I'm going to drop these one, two, where's the other one? Three. So we've got wood, barrel, and that will be the, the galvanized metal. Let's rename these then. So we'll have metal, uh, Barrel 
reference and wooden planks. Okay, so that is um, the images found. So thank you very much, Environment Textures. Uh, thank you for sponsoring this video and thank you for providing me with some beautiful pictures. That's wicked. Right, we can uh, kill that for now. And then the next thing we need to do is get back into Maya and set up the uh, the reference image. So I'm going to go into my front view, I believe. And I'm going to click on view. I'm going to go to image plane and import image. And because I've put my images in the right place, which is very good practice, I can see my barrel reference image. So I'll open that. There it is. And what I'm going to want to do is move that up so that it kind of sits roughly on the bottom. Now there's obviously some perspective to this image that kind of needs to be addressed. Um, but as long as it's in roughly the right place, I'll be able to work with that. Okay, so that about wraps up the first part, which is kind of preparing your scene. So making sure that you've got your reference image uh, and your texture files ready. Uh, in the next step, we'll start building the high poly version of the barrel. I will see you there in the, the next step. Bye.